This is the introduction video to Finland presented to you by Honken School of Economics. Honken is one of the oldest business schools in the Nordics and it's located in Helsinki and Vasa, Finland. My name is Camilla and in this video I want to give you an intro to what you need to know about the Finland state of mind. We will cover Finnish lifestyle and culture, working culture and communication to help you make informed choices before moving to Finland. I've lived here for seven years, discovering all things Finnish from bright summer nights and dark winters, embracing Finnish lifestyle, nature, adjusting to Finnish culture and more. So I hope you will find my experiences and insights useful. So first things first, what's Finland like? Well, Finland is a welfare and high-tech society offering high quality of life for its 5.5 million citizens. Finland is known for its peace building, thousands of lakes, free education, gorgeous libraries, durable design, innovation within ICT, deep tech, Nokia, Aura rings, and world's leading within circular economy. Finland also ranks in the top in global gender parity index, work-life balance, and political and civil freedom. And also Finland has been ranked several times as the happiest country in the world and the least corrupt country in the world. Let's get to the first part of this video, Finnish lifestyle and culture. I have experienced Finns to be pragmatic and patient. They keep their promises, they follow the rules, and enjoy a high level of trust. They also appreciate well-being. They take time to enjoy outdoors in the nature, sauna, and perhaps doing sports. If you choose to move to Finland, you can experience and embrace all four seasons. The snowy winter and the different hobbies you can do then, kayaking and berry picking the summer, beautiful golden autumn and blossoming spring. Finland is rich in its forests, its abundant maritime nature, and within 15 minutes you can actually have access to a forest, lake or sea nearby you. When it comes to Finnish values, equality, trust and fairness are some of the most important values here. And I would also add quality and efficiency to when it comes to actually how things are usually done here. Being a country with egalitarian culture means that Finns are casual, they dress casually, and they are humble, perhaps too humble sometimes. But it also means that you can reach out to people as there is low hierarchy. You can get a lot of support from the state when it comes to education, medical care, grants if you want to start your own company, child care, parental leave, and more. What requires of you is to be self-disciplined, motivated, curious, and proactive as a newcomer over a period of time. It includes that you ask for help and you recognize and grab opportunities that are given to you. If you don't ask for help, you won't get any. Don't get me wrong, Finns are helpful, but you just need to ask. Sometimes asking for help can be difficult. I want to introduce you to this word sisu. It's a word in Finnish which can be defined as courage, grit, resilience, and perseverance. Finnish quality of sisu can be used to describe this inner strength that pushes us forward even when things are difficult. So apply sisu when things get tough. So now we'll go to the next part of our video, working culture. When we're talking about working culture, it also refers to the Finnish values, which I mentioned to you before. Equality, trust, and fairness can be seen also how work and free time is divided. And there's also this ability, again, to approach people where there is low hierarchy. It applies both in your working and the studying environment. And when we're talking about Hanken School of Economics, it's a small university with a unique, tight, neat community feel. You'll be positively surprised the low hierarchy means you are on the first name basis with professors, students, and admin staff. And you're able to engage with people throughout the duration of your studies, research, or work. So utilize this to adapt fast and to embrace opportunities and connections that the Honken community offers to you. So when working in Finland, you can expect to work in teams and in projects. The way studies are built up in Honken, it prepares you to work with others in teams, but also it's preparing you to your Finnish work life. So imagine yourself at the first team meeting, 
everybody shows up on time. They expect it to take ownership of their work. And you can also trust them that they'll do their work and they trust you that you do your part and you're in charge of your own studying process. Here, it's important to talk about punctuality. Everyone is conscious and respectful of their own and other people's time. And that means showing up on time, being punctual is a sign of respect and sign of efficiency. And when you move to working life through summer job, internship, or your first job after graduation, the same things will apply. So what can you expect from Finnish work life? You can expect a supporting and encouraging working environment. It's good to give compliments for others' contributions, and they'll probably be praising you more than themselves. It's normal to take four to five weeks of paid vacation. Summer vacations start from the end of June and may last until beginning of August, and you're not expected to work on vacation. Your rights as an employee are protected by law and the trade unions, which are a big part of Finnish working environment. And it's common that you work from eight to four or nine to five. So the third part of this video is about communication. How do you get by when you're in a country where they smile a lot, but speak too little? First of all, there are two official languages in Finland, Swedish and Finnish, and you can learn either one. Finns are also known as vivid English speakers. And to truly connect here, picking up a local language is definitely recommended. I've experienced that Finns rarely enter into conversations with strangers. As foreigners often note, Finns are curiously silent in the metro or the bus. It's actually a sign of respect to not disturb you with too many questions. So if you come from a culture where people avoid silence at any cost, including my culture. You might be surprised that in Finland, silence in the room can be perfectly normal. Trust me, I got over it and you will get used to it and perhaps also appreciate it. There are though easy ways to engage in a conversation. For example, during a coffee break, I found coffee breaks as an easy way to meet someone new and build a connection. Be proactive. Enjoy your coffee break together. You will succeed here both if you are a conversation starter, respectfully curious, but also you will enjoy Finland if you are an introvert. There are at the moment around 21,000 international students in Finland across 13 universities and 22 universities of applied sciences. Finland has a great interest to welcome more internationals to come and settle down here. And if you're a student, researcher, or part of academic staff, for, for you, the one easy way to build connections is to actually invite your fellow classmates or colleagues for lunch or coffee. Be proactive. Enjoy your coffee break together. This was the introduction video to getting you to the Finland state of mind. I spoke about what Finnish lifestyle and culture like, working life, Finnish values, communication, including the SISU. I hope you find my experiences and insights helpful. Do explore more and consider choosing Finland as your next home.